Miles Brandreth is back on our screens tonight in the new series of Celebrity Goggle Box. Giles joins me now. That looked like such good fun. I love that show because I feel as if I'm in the living room with you watching the telly, which is a joy. You wouldn't be allowed to be in the living room with us now because you'd have to be at least two metres away. Uh, it's an amazing experience because they leave the cameras in the room. There's nobody else in the building except me and Maureen, two feet apart. And uh, uh, you begin to watch and you forget you're being filmed. And you watch hour after hour and some of the things we see, my goodness, we're certainly being moved out of our comfort zone. Right, so you don't get to choose. It's not like you choose what you're going to wait, what you're going to watch. You don't choose what. No, absolutely. It's a, it's a really it's a social experiment. We yeah. sit down, and when we're ready, we've got our snacks. I press the button, and up come the programs. And some of them we love. Some of them we don't know. If, I mean, like last year when I did it last year with my friend Sheila Hancock, we were introduced to something called naked attraction. Oh. Neither of us in anything quite like it. Uh, I know. You and I have been asked to team up for celebrity naked attraction. We've said no. <laughs> we uh, did. Uh, we thought we thought know. it would be the right thing to do. Well, we did. We did. Uh, it's but it's amazing. Utterly. So you, you get to see things you wouldn't otherwise see. Yeah. And the joy of doing it with Maureen is I'm able to watch programmes I would never dare watch with my wife. Oh, right. OK, I hear you. Now, you mentioned lovely Sheila there, Sheila Hancock, your, your friend. And what I really like about you right now is you are working with some incredible women Really strong when we saw you with Maureen. Sheila, we're going to see you in the canal journeys as well. You is that, are. That'll be, that'll be going, that will be going ahead. Have you filmed that already, Giles? Or is, is it still... We, fi we, f we filmed a couple uh, earlier in the year and we're going to be doing more later in the year. But I tell you why I love being with Sheila Hancock. She's 87 years of age. Amazing. And she's so fit. She is so brilliant. Her mind is so alive. She's just an <laughs> exciting person to be with. And I really admire people like her who are role models to the rest of us. Quite fantastic. Exactly. And there's another amazing lady. These are all proper, strong, amazing women. Judy Dench. You and Judy Dench have been having an absolute blast, haven't you? Well, <laughs> Judy Dench and I, we are friends. We were going to be doing a show and it was cancelled, postponed because of lockdown, together about her amazing career. So we've been together learning poems by heart. Uh, because you know we have to wash our hands for 20 seconds. I remember. And um, to make sure they're really clean. And we've been learning poems that last 20 seconds to keep us busy and also to keep the mind going. So learning a poem that lasts 20 seconds while washing your hands. So I've been doing that with Judy Dench. But there she is. 85, still keeping the mind active, learning poetry, playing with words and language. You see, during lockdown, we can't have any hugs. I'd love to be hugging you. I brought you a bouquet, by the way. Oh, uh, I love it. I love that bouquet. That's for you, Lorraine. That is so cool. And I'm loving your jumpers. You do a jumper every single day on Twitter, and I love I'm that. Trying to, I'm trying to learn a new poem a day, just yes. a short one, 20, 30 seconds. I put it up on Twitter, and I learn it while I'm doing my walk. I do a sort of 6,000-step walk for an hour every morning. And that's what Judy Dench is doing. People in their 80s are doing this. Keep their minds active, because... Language is everything. I can't give you a hug. I can't actually give you this bouquet. But we can talk. We can chat. And using language is so important. And my best friend in the world of words is undoubtedly the brilliant Susie Dent. You oh, mentioned strong yes. ladies. Yes. You know, from Countdown, the girl yeah. in Dictionary Corner, I thought it'd be fun to do a podcast all about words and language. And I thought, who can I, who can I really learn from? And I thought, Susie Dent knows more about words and language than anybody else on the planet. So she and I get together every week. She's in Oxford. I'm in London. And we chat. And we talk about words. And we try to, well, she helps me expand my vocabulary. She just taught me a lovely new word, gongoozle. Do you know what to gongoozle? Gong to gongoozle. Oh, I like yeah. that word. What does, what does it actually mean, though? Well, it's what I spend a lot of time doing now, gazing into my coffee cup. It's basically... <laughs> Looking peacefully at water, at liquid, to gong goozle, to look out over the river or to look into your tea or your mug of coffee. I love you're, it. Gong, you're gong goozling. Oh, I'm, I'm gong goozling. goozling. I'm going to gong goozle. I'm going to use that word all the time. Now, look, you should say, because the, the podcast Something Rhymes with Purple, because nothing mm. rhymes with purple, that's why I love you've called it Something Rhymes with Purple. Well, it's up for an award. Does rhyme with, what, it, what rhymes well, with purple? Well, it's rather exciting. 
tell. It's amazing. People clearly do are fascinated by language. We've had two million downloads. We're now up for this Best Entertainment Podcast yes. Award. And uh, it's called Something Rhymes with Purple because I thought nothing did rhyme with purple. Mm, so did I. I know nothing <laughs> rhymes with silver, nothing rhymes with orange. Mm. And I was saying to Susie, nothing rhymes with purple. She said, oh, something does. I said, really? She said, yes, the word herple. It's a word meaning to walk with a limp. Is to her. Yes, of course it does. Herpling. Herpling. Well, it's a Scottish word. Yes, it's of Scottish course word. it is. I should have known that about herpling. Ah, that's good. See what I've learned today from you, Giles? I mean, I learn from you all the time. Do you remember a way back in TVAM days? I do. And I mean, how we shared a sofa. Well, we will oh, again, nice though. You'll need to come and see me in, in real true life. Of course you will. And, and happy I anniversary. Was it not your anniversary this week? It was my anniversary. I met my wife 52 years ago when we were students at Oxford and I tried to learn a poem for her this week. And that's the joy. You can't give... I couldn't go out and buy a card. I couldn't get any flowers. So I thought I will learn a poem. And I learned a, a famous sonnet by Elizabeth Barrett Browning, the one, the one you'll know it, the one that begins, How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Do you know what? That is, that is really romantic. I hope that she appreciated all of the effort that you went to. <laughs> 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 I, to be honest, halfway through, she said, oh, shut up. I've been missing you for 52 years. I love now you're blabbering away, reading, speaking. And I'd learned it all by heart. I got right through to the end and I was in tears. And she, she was like, just Whatever. saying, let me turn the sound down. She watches me on Gogglebox from behind the sofa with the sound turned down. <laughs> She keeps you in check. You could never get big-headed. I think it's wonderful. It's a joy to talk to you. Congratulations on the nomination for the podcast. It's so entertaining and you do really learn ever such a lot. And I can't wait to see you with Judy Dench and, of course, with Sheila Hancock too. Thank Great. you. Thank you, Jane. See you on the set soon. Thank Lovely. you.